and this is David and we are from Wine Collective. Today we're going to present to you another Mythbusters video answering the question, does wine spoil after being frozen over? Yeah, so we took the opportunity to take two identical wines that we've actually recently featured in Wine Collective and we took one and put it in the freezer and let it freeze completely over. So as you can see, the cork actually pushed out a little bit because wine is mostly water and it actually expands once it's frozen, but no wine actually came out, which is good. Uh, so we've let it warm up back to room temperature. Uh, so both wines are in exactly the same condition right now sitting on the table. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack open into them and find out if there's actually any notable difference. We're gonna test them out. Let's do it. David and I poured for one another a glass of each of the frozen and non-frozen wines. Um, so we don't know which is which, but we're gonna test it out, see if we can taste the difference. So this is gonna be exciting for us, a lot exciting for you, but we'll be back with you shortly. <laughs> Okay, so we were tasting there for, you know, a good couple minutes, pretty solid. Neither of us talked about anything that um, we tasted. I still don't know which is which. I couldn't tell you which is which. Both taste fine. Um, like I'm not noticing any faults between either of them. No. Uh, a little bit psychosomatic because I'm kind of like looking for there's something to be wrong maybe or something to be a bit different. Mm -hmm. Both are quite fruity. I might say that my right glass is maybe a little bit fruitier than the left one. I don't know if that means anything. How about you? Um, same thing. So I didn't really, definitely no faults or um, no way of saying, saying that the wine is spoiled in any way whatsoever. Get a lot of fruit, very equal. Um, same thing. I would say the one on the left for me feels or tastes slightly fruitier than the one on the right. Okay. So Interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. All right. So I poured you the non-frozen and then frozen. Non-frozen then frozen? Okay, yeah, I poured you the right was the frozen, left was non-frozen. Oh, well. So opposite, <laughs> that's kind of funny. So it's totally likely psychosomatic in that case. In our brain, yeah, for sure, absolutely. Huh, cool. That is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, science. <There> go. <laughs> <laughs> Point proven, so there you have it. Wine is definitely not spoiled anyway whatsoever if it is frozen. Just bring it back to room temperature and it can be easily enjoyed just the same. We'd likely recommend, if the cork has come out, you probably drink that bottle of wine relatively soon because um, you just don't know what's going to happen with the cork being out of it. Uh, the one thing we will mention though, if wine has come out of the bottle, mm, then you've definitely had oxidization. You're probably going to want to test it. It may have gone bad, so kind of leave it to each other. You know, living in Canada, our weather's somewhat unpredictable. It's cold, north of the 49th. Um, so, you know, one of the things we have to deal with is potentially frozen wine, but good news is it seems that if your wine does freeze, uh, it's most likely totally fine. Perfectly so let it thaw time. out and try it a bit later. Thanks for watching and we want to hear about your experiences. Let us know if you've ever tasted a frozen bottle of wine and if you noticed any differences. Also be sure to leave us a comment if you want any wine myths busted. And thank you for watching. Thanks. See you next time. <laughs> did, I, did I still mess up that one? <laughs> I think so.